Hello again. So we had a few days ago a storm that rolled through during the day for a nice change and with it came about 35 to 40 mile an hour sustained wind. <laughs> Traffic is crazy this morning. And uh, 50 mile an hour gusts. And so you can see one of the side paddles came off of this. So there was this one and then this other one came out over here. And I had mentioned before, I think in a video that I was going to cut a couple of these off and repot them because they're growing so wide. And <laughs> nature did it for me on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and um, find a pot if I can find a terracotta pot because I want to put it in terracotta. I don't know if I have any, but I'm going to look around for something and um, get that repotted today. It's been a, a few days, so it's probably nicely calloused and I can just stick it right in the soil. And then look at my mammillarias. I just noticed you can really see now that how they're splitting this one and then and they're getting two heads on each one. Pretty cool, I think. So let me go in, uh, let me go and find a, a pot and we'll get that potted up. I found a pot, but it is not a terracotta pot. As you can see, it's plastic. It's an old one that I had um, just sitting out there. So I just thought, you know, this will work. I have to be careful because it does have a crack in the bottom, but I mean, it's pretty thick. So I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to finish uh, filling it up. I had a, a bag of cactus and succulent soil with some in the bottom still, a little bit left. And then this was just some soil I mixed up doing another planting video. And um, so this is perfect. Push it down a little bit. Now, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have planted um, Opuntias before, but they're mean. They don't like to be handled, and the glow kids on them will just drive you crazy for days. Now, it did come apart in two pieces, which I didn't realize. And, of course, the smallest piece was in the middle, so I'm going to have to break that off. I'm going to plant the two larger paddles, but I don't know if I should plant them like next to each other or like this. I think this way because they're probably going to grow sideways the way it did before. So I'm just gonna plant them here side by side and I'm gonna dig a little trench for them right here so that I can just sort of gently set them in now, carrying them in the house, of course, I dropped the big one right on our uh, doormat right outside here, <laughs> like an Egypt. Um, and so I'm sure glow kids went everywhere. But what are you going to do? I'm a bit of a klutz. The nice thing is that these pieces are mature enough that it's very easy to see which way is up and which way is down. So I'm going to start with this one and as you can see it broke off right there and uh, I don't know if that's focusing but it just kind of tore off because it fell so I'm going to just stick it down in there and it will root now I won't have to water this for a while and I'll keep it uh, we're not supposed to get any rain for I don't know, another four or five days, but then we do have more rain coming in. So I will probably just keep this somewhere inside because I don't want it getting a bunch of water in there and then having it rot. So now here's my 
my broken one. As you can see, the little one is what broke off of here. That's where it was, and it fell. Was it there? No, it wasn't there. It was, where was it? Ooh, don't drop it again. Might have been off on this. Where did it come off of? Because they were sticking straight out like... You know what? Now I can't figure out where it came off of. Maybe. I wonder if, if this was two separate pieces. So that sh I'm just going to go ahead and stick that one in there rather than, whoa, rather than separating this. Um, I knew I was going to do that. Yeah, I can see some little glow kids already stuck in there. This is kind of top heavy. So I need, you know what? I need another pair of tongs. So hold on one second. I hate when I do that. So I need to hold it up so I can just pat this down good and just give it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, support here. And then I'll probably find a rock or something. Yes, I will find a rock or something or a couple of rocks to put there. Because once it roots itself, it will be fine. Let me think, what do I have? I'm going to go outside and grab something. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have... This piece of, I don't know what it is, busted up, bluish whatever, green rock with some red in it. It's kind of pretty. And it was just sitting out there. So I'm going to put that in there. And also, I have this, I don't know, it looks like it's really washed out, huh? Is my light on it? No, I don't know why this, if I cover it, there we go. So you can see how pretty this kind of, I don't know, bluish green. It's like turquoise, kind of shiny. So I'm gonna use these two and I'm just going to kind of stick them in here and hopefully they will hold this thing up. Whoa, don't stick your fingers too close. So if I just kind of sort of wedge that down in there and then this one can just kind of lean over that way um, once it starts to root that should hold it up I oh, don't want to use my fingers I don't want to use my fingers and I keep starting to do that actually we don't want to do that either well, let's get a little shovel here which is what this is meant for and do it like this just get some more soil in there around that. And then it will grow. Now I'm going to have to go out there and look because it's really weird that I don't, I assumed the way these were laying that it was three pieces connected together. And I kind of remember seeing that, but then I don't see a scar on here because that's a nice smooth, yeah, I don't see any place where this big, big chunk fell off. That's weird. That's very weird. But these will grow. Um, these things are just super hardy, super prolific. And if you stick them in the ground, even if you don't give them any water, it seems like they still grow. And... Um, then I'll have another one. Maybe if this one takes off really nice, I can... I won't plant these in the ground because they do take over. They get so big and as good of attention of intentions you have of keeping them under control with me, they always get out of control. And then I have a, a huge monster of a plant that's just taken over everything around it. And so... I have to keep them in a pot. But I can stage this pot out there or I can just, you know, once it's rooted and stuff, I can 
I can always give it away. Okay, so I think I want to put some of the Sonoma Gold top dressing around it. And that soil is a little bit moist. It's not wet. Um, so, you know, these aren't going to just dry out and shrivel up, but they won't rot. And this will just make it look nice. And it will settle because I didn't really pack that soil down too much. And once this gets washed off, rinsed off, whatever, watered in the first time, the, ow, yeah, mm, did it again. This has got, it's funny because the spines are long, but the tips are light and the base is darker. So in a certain light, I can only see the dark part and I didn't realize how close I got to it a second time. You think I would have learned the first time, but no, I didn't. Okay, and that really stings. Did I just bump you? I think I did. Get me back a little bit. So try to get this in there without touching the glow kids. Do not want to touch those. And if you do, you're gonna be mad for a week or at least until they stop irritating your fingers. I've got a leaf in there. So I wanna get these down into the middle down in there too. I could like, I don't know, use a spoon. So I pretty much buried that <laughs> small paddle here, but that's okay. And then the main plant is still really large. Um, you know, so I'm not even going to miss these little pieces. And I am probably going to take, okay, let's try not to stick ourselves a third time. Um, I'm probably going to take the paddles off on the right side too, because it's just too much. And, um, well, then this kind of thing that happens, the wind blows and, you know, they just can't support all those leaves. And then it falls off. So there we go, <clears throat> that's done. I'm gonna see if I can show you this without it being so much of a glare, I don't know why. There's such a glare on this camera, but here you can see the color. And then, let's see if I can zoom in without it getting too blurry. So these little clumps, you know, you see these little clumps, those are, just clusters, you can kind of see on, where's my hand? You can kind of see on that one, you can see those are actually tiny little spines. And, um, but here you can see the color on those needles. See how it's only dark part way up and then they're light on the spines? That's what I kept sticking myself on because you couldn't really see, but I love the purple. They're not very purple right now, if I back up, um, they're more green than purple, but when the new pads grow in, they're just amazing. But all these little clumps are clumps of glow kids, tiny little, I like to call them micro spines, but yeah, they're, uh, they're evil. So here's kind of how it looks in between. And then this will just keep it from tipping over. If it tips over, it's no big deal. I just go fix it. But yeah, that's, this one's all done. So let me put you, cause I do have one more little thing I'm gonna do. Okay, you remember my little epiphyllum that I almost threw away. It was shriveled up. I took it out, was gonna repot it. The cat got a hold of it, chewed the end off of it. <laughs> well, it took off with it first of all, and it took me a while to find it. And then I stuck it in a jar of water and it didn't do anything for a while. And I was just about to throw it away when I noticed tiny little roots. So I've left it in the glass, and then I noticed this morning, can you see this little, there we go. So it's growing. So I'm, I'm thinking, the cat hair off of it, that it was just, you know, still dormant. It just wasn't, it's growing season, so it wasn't actively growing roots. But I've noticed a lot of my plants now are starting to grow, the epiphyllums, um, my dragon fruit, they're all putting on, putting on new growth. So I think it's just 
Let me set this guy down. I think it's just that time of year and I just needed to wait because it wasn't gonna do anything until it was ready. So let me get some of this soil out of here. So I, I, I'm gonna put it in some soil now and put it back on the windowsill. And it does have roots, so it should be fine. The problem is it's just really long and floppy. So I'm going to bury it kind of deep. And I'm trying to be really careful because you can damage, actually I kind of want it to hang over. You can damage these new baby roots and you don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is very gently try to push the dirt forward. I guess I didn't need to take it out on all the sides. Let's drop some more down in there. I'm making a huge mess. That's okay. I don't really care. Um, those new roots, you know, you can tear them and really damage them. So you want to be really careful, as careful as you can. But, you know, it's okay. Ooh. So get all that in there. Lift you up a little bit. Try to get some more under there in the front. Because these plants like to grow, um, you know, hanging. And they'll they'll fall over and start growing down. So they're, they're great in pots and hanging pots. And when they flower, oh my gosh, they're absolutely stunning. They have huge flowers. So hopefully, um, that will survive everything I've done to it. Okay. And then, like magic, <laughs> it's all cleaned up. So I just, you know, lightly rinsed all the dirt off of it and made the, the pot look a little bit cleaner. I'm not going to put a top dressing on this um, because I'm just going to stick it back in the window and um, it'll, it'll eventually be going into the pot with the other one. But I want it to get a nice root ball because the other one will get, you know, a lot more water. And I want to just kind of be careful with this one, but these are um, these are pretty cool. The epiphyllum, they do have little spines along the edges. Um, some of them are sharper, some you can't really feel. But uh, we'll keep an eye on this and see how it does, and check back in. I am pretty excited to see that new little growth there. So we'll see how it does. All right, well, I think that's it. This was just meant to be just a quick short one just to get these two little projects done today. So thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And we will see you next time.